distribution resource planning and logistics. We know that the supply channel is composed of three structures. The terminal point in the channel is the retailer who sells goods and services directly to the customer for their personal or non-business use. At the beginning of the chain is the manufacturer who focuses on the development and production of products and originates the distribution process. Distribution Resource Planning or DRP as we are going to call it is a widely used and potentially powerful technique for helping outbound logistics systems manage and minimize inbound inventories. In this lesson, we will study about dynamics pertaining to distribution resource planning and logistics. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you should be able to understand the meaning of distribution resource planning, the different inventory management techniques, management of order process, the logistics in 21st century. Inventory management is required at different locations within a facility or within multiple locations of a supply network to protect the regular and planned course of production against the random disturbance of running out of materials or goods. This makes its focus on the management of the level of inventory and minimization of the total cost of inventory after taking into consideration the stockout costs, the carrying cost, order cost and the cost of acquisition inventory. Economic order quantity or EOQ presents a popular model to determine the optimum order quantity that the company should hold in its inventory given an ordering cost, annual demand and other the cost of carrying the inventory so as to minimize the inventory cost. The formula to measure EOQ and the meanings of various notations used are shown on the screen. Analysts use two primary approaches to determine when the order should be placed. The first one is discussed on the left side of the screen and is fixed quantity replenishment system. Under this system, the order is placed when the inventory has fallen below a definite level. The quantity is to be ordered is predetermined and the reorder point is specified in such a way that demand can be met from the existing inventory during the replenishment period. Right side of the screen shows fixed period replenishment system under which the order is placed on a predefined period. The replenishment quantity in such situations is often determined such as to replenish inventory to a given maximum level. Despite all the well-planned systems and management techniques, there are certain constraints to effective inventory planning. Actually, inventory planning requires accurate and coordinated forecasts for each distribution center as well as adequate lead time to allow product movement. The errors in forecast may exist because of prediction of demand at wrong location or prediction at wrong time. Apart from this, inventory planning also requires consistent and reliable performance cycles for movement between distribution facilities. Also production breakdowns or delivery delays sometimes affect the planning systems quite adversely. Order processing takes place after an order has been submitted by a buyer. The process of submitting an order takes place in real time while the buyer waits. The longer it takes, the lower will be the customer satisfaction. The main factors determining the length of this time are relevant inventory costs, demand of inventory, lead time, constraints on inventory system and length of planning period. As you can see this figure, order processing includes order preparation, order transmittal, order entry, order filing and order status reporting. The order management system shows how the buyers and sellers communicate information relating to individual orders of product. Effective order management reflects the quality of the firm's overall management information system and vice versa. 
Thus, the object of order management system is that desired customer service capability in terms of availability and operational performance should be such that the firm achieves target service goals every time. This would result in zero defect performance which is known as perfect order. This raises the question of how much basic service should a logistical system provide. The answer may depend on the firm's overall marketing strategy and the relative emphasis it places on specific elements of the marketing mix. Needless to say, the common causes of failure of perfect order can thus be categorized as an order entry error, missing information, non-availability of ordered item, inability to meet shipment date, picking error, inaccurate documentation, late shipment, late or early arrival, damage shipment, etc. You all must have heard about automated unit load handling using high-rise storage. The high-rise concept of handling is fully automated from receiving to shipping. ASRS are designed to increase material handling productivity by providing maximum storage density per square foot of flow space and to minimize the direct labor required in handling. The highly controlled nature of the system combines reliable, pilferage-free and damage-free handling with extremely accurate control. Four main components constitute the basic system. Storage racks, storage and retrieval equipment, input-output systems and control systems. The name high-rise actually derives from the height of its vertical storage rack hat, which can be up to 120 feet high. The typical high-rise facility consists of rows of storage racks separated by aisles running from 120 to over 800 feet. Primary storage and retrieval is completed within these aisles. Order picking is selecting and withdrawing goods or components from a store or warehouse to meet production requirements or to satisfy customer orders. While order picking used to be a time-taking exercise in the past, it has become much faster and easier with the help of electronic pick list, which is loaded to the barcode scanner. Now only one person does the picking and checking at the same time. This has given an all-time high importance to order inspection. The entire process includes testing, inspection location, planning and ordering, and submitting a well-developed inspection report, the records of which are kept for future reference. 21st century logistics truly involves the integration of information, transportation, inventory, warehousing, material handling, and packaging and occasionally security. To add the value of time and place utility, professionals make use of digital technologies enable the development of new economic models. Globalization has brought reduction in the production costs, leading to an increase in supply. Methods and means are applied liberally to ensure faster than ever flow of goods and services. More and more organizations are switching to for you by 24 by 7 mode and the future seems to only get better day by day by these practices. Now let us answer true or false in order to gauge your progress. The first statement says that one should hold the shipment until the report is received. True or false? True. The second statement is it says the deviations on stock level are forwarded to the next level in the logistic system. True or false? False. The third statement says that a company's order management does not contribute towards producing a competitive advantage. True or false? False. Now in the end, let us revise the contents of the lesson. Distribution resource planning is important in cost cutting and having the right decisions regarding the inventory. Inventory management is a vital part of logistics management. The two basic approaches that are used to determine when an order needs to be placed are fixed quantity replenishment system and fixed interval replenishment system.